Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and Super Mario Run is finally out on all the iPhones and iPads. No Android devices yet, but it'll be coming soon. And already, I, it's safe to say that I've frittered far too many hours away playing it when I probably should have been sleeping. To say that I'm already an expert would be a bit rich, but I think I've played long and hard enough since I previewed it a couple of weeks ago in order to know how to make you a Super Mario Run master. Maybe. So we've thrown together five top tips to help you become super excellent at Super Mario Run, including number one, which is particularly spicy and could even be classified as a secret technique. Who'd have thought that? But anyway, enough waffling, let's get right into it. <laughs> How often do you miss a pink coin and you just wish you could just turn back time and give that thing another go without having to try the whole stage over again? Well, fret ye not, my little puddle of kittens. By simply tapping the bubble icon at the top of the screen, you can head back and retry any amount of the course that you wish, just as if you'd killed yourself. This may not be that useful for pink coins, but when you start getting into the black coins, this thing can be an absolute lifesaver. Trick moves are undoubtedly important in Toad Rally, but they're not really that important in World Tour, right? Right, but we still think you should be performing them whenever you can. Think about it, as you perform them more and more, they're gonna become more and more second nature, meaning you can rack up some serious Toad Cred in Toad Rally. And you know what Toad Cred gets you? Toad Cred gets you paid, bruv! I'm never doing that again. Mario is not the only mogul you can run about as, ho oh, ho, crumbs no. You've got a rainbow of other characters to choose from with all their own quirks and perks. Try them all out and get a feel for them, and as you get better and better, you'll be able to see the courses in a different light and make your overall understanding of the timing required for certain jumps and falls massively improved. Who knows, maybe you'll even find a character you enjoy playing as more than Mario. <laughs> This sounds painfully simple, but it really could save you bacon. The time limits used in this game are very generous, so don't feel that every single run you do has to be absolutely perfect. Use the stop blocks, plan ahead, and you'll find everything goes much, much smoother. Hell, stop blocks even pause the countdown, so if time is a concern of yours, you can still use these suckers with reckless abandon. Did you think that tapping's all you can do to control Mario in this game? Ho <laughs> ho, think again, sucker! If you happen to be careening towards a pit and you need to adjust your trajectory to try and save yourself, you can slide your finger backwards in relation to Mario and slow the momentum of his jump and even move back a little bit if the drop is long enough. This probably won't allow you to pull off any incredible jumping feats per se, but in the heat of the moment in Toad Rally, it could mean the difference between a win and a lose very, very easily. So there you have it, five top tips to make you absolutely marvellous at Super Mario Run. Do you have any tips of your own? Let us know down there in the comments. Who knows, if there are enough of them, maybe we'll make a second video. Maybe. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you grab that subscribe button and stay up far, far past your bedtime playing Super Mario Run for the sake of the internet, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,